Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about what is the best place to host a virtual summit obviously we're going to talk about what do I mean by virtual summit and what do I mean by best right so we're going to get into what is a virtual summit uh, what kind of features that you might be looking for what and where can you create your virtual summit and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so when I talk about a virtual summit I want to be clear I'm not talking about the software to record your videos or things like that I'm talking about where do you put your recordings and your your notes and your and where do you send your attendees how do you get them registered all those different things and we're going to talk about that in just a second but before I get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at uh, cis357.jsgagnon.com because that's where I'm going to post the video because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you the platform that I'm talking about all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen first so before we get going I want to talk about what I've done I've done a VI I've done a, a a virtual a virtual summit about bitcloud now bitcloud is a social media platform that is um that is that is run on a blockchain so it's a new social media platform but that's not important what I want to talk about is how the virtual summit was run in Click eCourse and why do I say it's best platform obviously for me it's a platform I put together so I certainly understand it there's there's definitely features that could be added or features that exist on other platforms that <coughs> that need to be added but in terms of being able to run the summit I mean we gotta you gotta ask yourself what do you mean by running a summit right or hosting a virtual summit let's first talk about what is a virtual summit what is a summit let's just get that done I have a little notebook so first of all <clears throat> so number one right what is a summit right so what's a summit a summit <clears throat> is a um a meeting of the minds if you will right it's a place where top minds or top leaders in a particular topic all get together for a finite amount of time it can be a day it can be uh, a week it can be like in my case I did a 10-day summit right so a summit is a meeting of the minds of the minds of a particular topic right so it's usually um you know a place you go to a hotel room and that kind of thing there's then where there's a bunch of speakers that come in and talk and explain something there's all sorts of different summits about medical and um, online marketing and and you know special specific social media platforms and like uh, network marketing and specific companies and I mean those are all there's so many traffic summit there's uh, there's so many there's a ton of them you can find them online obviously you can look them up and you can search for them so number two is what what is a virtual summit a virtual summit might be um obvious right a virtual summit means it's virtual it means it's not real it's not in person you don't go anywhere you do it online right so it's 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 run 100 online right so there's no no traveling no traveling no um hotels right no expenses right so a virtual summit is run like that without anybody having to travel without any none of the speakers having to travel no all that it's all run virtually right so that's that's I guess when I talk about a virtual summit that's what I mean I mean a summit that is run virtually remotely using uh, computers and internet to get the speakers and to get the inter uh, attendees and everybody else right so the thing is that the other thing we want to talk about is when I say best co best hosting platform what I'm talking about is okay what is it that what is it that you need to be able to do 
to run a summit right to run a virtual summit so uh, what do you need to run a virtual summit right so the next thing we want to kind of talk about is you know what do we need what do we need to run a virtual summit what, you know obviously the best platform is going to be a platform that gives you all the features that you need right so what are the features you need you need to be able to um, record videos of your speakers right so oh that's the other thing there's two different there's I guess there's a live summit and a recorded summit right so for me I did a recorded summit it it's uh it allowed me to schedule it around the any time that's available for anybody right for me and for the speakers so I could record the uh the talks or sessions or uh, presentations or whatever you want to call them right um <laughs> with each of the speakers right so that allowed me to do that that's kind of how I did it so when I say you need to be able to record videos of your speakers in my case the platform that I'm talking about does not have a recording feature so you have to record the videos in so for me I did I did that in zoom right but you can do that in lots of different tools there's google meet there's a there's a webinar platforms there's a all sorts of different ways to do that you can even you could even right you could even and I've seen that before you could even have uh two each person not even be together record their different things and have them respond and then just have those you know uh each video there right so you could put them together afterwards I mean that's something some some people could have done that you know maybe I could have done that with some of the speakers that couldn't couldn't schedule easily because of time zone differences that kind of stuff you could do that but anyways that's that's beside the point okay so now now really what you need is a so you need to be able to you uh so hosting of the videos right you need to be able to host the videos you need to be able to um register um, so attendees can register right for free so you need to be able to have them register I mean you you could make it paid registered for free or paid is is a is is depending on what you're doing right if you want it if it's not a free summit then if you're charging five bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever for the summit <coughs> you need to be able to charge them that right the other thing is you need to be able to have whoops so you need to be able to have what do you need to run you need to be able to make videos available for a specific time right so for me I had my videos available 24 hours over a period of 10 days there were different videos that were available on those days right so this is so this is kind of what I did here I can show you the so I had the schedule here of the different days right day one day two day three day four the different videos in there the the speakers their topics right and that kind of stuff so I kind of had it scheduled like that so that I could but the thing is that I I didn't want video number two to be available on on oh well sorry I didn't want the videos for day two to be available on day one or any other day I wanted to be available only on day two same thing with day three videos day four videos etc right I wanted those to be only available on the days that they're supposed to be available right so um okay so now the next thing that you need to be able to do is you need to make videos whoops okay so here's the other thing and obviously you don't have to be doing that but um allow vip full access right allow vip full access pass so for me that was basically you would buy you would buy a pass to have access to all the videos right so that pass needed to be you need to be able to set it up so that people can access all the videos if they pay for it right that was kind of what I was doing oh and by the way I, I yeah I forgot anyways that's fine so the VIP full access pass was uh needed for me so you probably need that too you want to be able to have the especially if you're doing a free summit you want to be able to make some sort of income from it right so you're going to have the ability to buy the free pass the other thing is you want to be able to have ability so have ability ability to promote 
by others right so you want to be able to allow others to promote your summit so that they can benefit from promoting it right so you they they could promote it just because you know they like you or because they know somebody in this in the summit but what if they made a commission from any sales of the VIP pass right that would encourage them to promote it even more right so you need you should have that ability you don't have to use it right but you should have the ability by others to promote it and allow others to get commissions commissions on sales right so on sales so that's like an affiliate program right so affiliate program let's do that affiliate program so you want others to be able to have an affiliate program to be able to you want to you want to be able to promote and them to be able to you know have an affiliate program on your uh, vip uh, pass on yours or even your summit if your summit is not free you can actually have them promote that and they get the the sum so now ensure um guarantee guarantee that a promoted um a referral a refer referral referral gets paid um gets paid uh what's what am I looking for I, I'm basically I want to I want to explain that the platform needs to be able to guarantee that somebody who promotes something gets what they you know gets paid their their dues right so if if somebody refers somebody and then that person buys something but they don't get the the commission from this the purchase that would suck right so you need to make sure that there's there's a the platform needs to guarantee that if somebody gets promote if somebody promotes something that that person is the one that gets you know the the the, the commission because they're the one that promoted it right so the platform needs to be able to do that um the other thing is uh allow for attendees to comment on videos and other other things right so I mean like the video in the course if you want to call it a course or the summit and the videos and the summit the summit itself itself so whoops itself okay so you need to allow attendees to comment on videos in the summit itself so then uh, it would be good it would be great if the platform allowed you to so um, allow you to give coupons to uh, to to some people so they buy at lower lower price now if you want to offer some somebody a half price coupon or something like that you should be able to do that you should be able to not have to worry about you, you know like change the price and tell them person okay go buy it now the price is lower and then you got to put the price back up and you should be able to just give them a coupon and say here use this coupon and you'll get this special price right you should be able to do that right you should be able to um, allow you to set deals for a specific time frame right so you should be able to say I want this to be this price until Friday at 7 p.m right but after that it automatically goes to this other price so you should be able to set deals you should be able to set deals for your um your VIP pass or just the summit if you're not make if the summit's not free right uh what else you should uh geez what else should you be able to do um oh yes uh, allow you to edit videos and add out out tra add trailer to it I allow you to trim let's say trim videos trim videos and add trailer to it so now the reason why you want to be able to do that is in your free summit once your summit's over it would be great if you could still let people see a little bit of the video and tell them about the vip pass right like hey like this is kind of what i did in the videos i have now if i go to if i go to here uh no not the window i just put it back here 
so if I go here and I go to the actual the free bitcloud summit that uh, the summit that I did the virtual summit uh right now it's uh, I'm logged in so yeah but still if I go to any of these videos right let's say I look at um one of the ones that well, let's go to day number 10 Cassidy okay so we have this video here oops that's the intro let's get skip over there so we have Cassidy's video oops turn this in so now we have the video here which is basically the first the first two minutes of each video is available for for free still but if they watch this and they're like oh I that you know this is Cassidy she's talking about secrets of being a social media influencer um, and she's gonna talk about you know how to become a social media influencer right so I want to hear that so you start listening to it and then at the end of it it goes and gives you this like this it kind of fades out and it says this was part of video first ever bitcloud you can get it at vip right so you basically can add this kind of trailer to every single one of your videos that's what I did with all of these they all have that uh, at the end here go to the end right so the same thing near the end here where we're, where it's you know it fades out and then it shows the trailer right so you can do whatever you want in terms of trailer I recommend a certain you know process but anyways it's possible to do those things so that's another thing you can do with the platform uh what else what else can we do what else can we do or that we need to have the what what would make a platform the best platform right all these features and I'm just trying to think what else can we do so if I look at the comments if I say comments allow attendees to comment on videos I know that there's comments in here if I go to say for example uh, no not navigating this one here so let's pause it because it's kind of too okay so over here you can see there's some comments right so we have Elizabeth and Cassandra um uh, Camara sorry Camara and the Dr Elizabeth Markle that did one of the videos and over here you see there's comments there's Philip Mini had a comment here we also I know that there was another comment on Olga as well over here and so there's Olga right here that was another one of the speakers right and here is some comments that are there so that's something you can you can't do on all the platforms so on this platform on Clicky of course you can do that um so okay so we're 17 minutes in I've kind of talked about the different things let's actually go and let's actually go and kind of put together this right so what do you need you need two you don't need it this way but this is kind of what I did okay I have two different basically they're courses on clicky course they're called courses but it doesn't really matter so you go in here and you would go to to your to your account first of all when you first go to the platform if you're not registered let's go and actually let's do the about opening incognito. so when you first go to the account you're not going to be logged in you're not going to be logged in it's going to say welcome certainly doesn't look like a summit place right but it is one of the features one of the ways you can do a summit is using the features of this platform like I just said so you first you register you create an account I'm going to actually just log in as let's say I'm sure I have a here's a tester account oh no I want to log in sorry log in no no, no. log in instead there okay so we want to log in as a tester I hope that one no of course not I should have had a uh 340 maybe no <laughs> I don't know why they're in my list of possible passwords right this one 244 there you go okay so now the 244 is an account I've I've created for testing purposes right so if I go here and I go into um so the first thing you want to do is you once you log in you're going to be on the platform after you register you just click on the plus here you say you want to create a course now I know it's not a summit but a course is basically a, con a container with you know a, a title and a summary and a topic and then a list of videos or lessons so that's why it's still what you want to use for this so first of all you do this you create the course <coughs> and you um excuse me and you let's uh, just uh, looks like we have a bug on the site that I'm going to look into but you create a course once you create the course 
you have something like this if I go to for example uh over here under courses I have these courses that were created right this one here bitcloud first virtual summit so I have the first course basically when you create when you create it you're going to just see a page like this where it lets you enter the uh, the title of your course the title of the course the summary of the course some details here and then there's also footer that shows up on the on the first page and then you can either click next 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 to go through the different steps or you can write on the top here of the tab so under categories you want to choose your main category and your subcategory and then you can add any topics to it that you want that'll help to sort it a certain way uh, under seo hash you could put search engine uh keywords so that whenever anybody shares it or you or you share I mean, anybody shares it on social media or the google engine google searches find it they will have uh the they will have the um those keywords in there right hashtags are if you want to share it on other platforms that use hashtags uh, then there's cover image of course you want to have an image there that people will kind of recognize what it's about under price commission you set it at zero if it's a free otherwise you give it a price and then you can give a commission to anybody who promotes it if it's a free obviously if it's free it's zero dollars there's no commission but uh, yeah uh, under downloadable you can decide whether people can download the mp3s or the videos of your uh, summit I would say in the free if it's a free summit you probably don't set that to anything under embedded player uh depending on the account you have on, on click eCourse you're going to have to <coughs> use embedded if you're on the free account but if you pay for an upgrade you'll be able to upload videos and then you'll be able to say well this won't matter if it's an uploaded video this is not used um and then that's that's basically it. I'm just going to say cancel right now because I've already done this then you want a second one which is going to be in my case I had the VIP right I go to details right here in my case I had the VIP oh the other thing you can do too is your as a rating right I'm just going to rate this like this five stars so you can rate the 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 course or the uh yeah so the course or the summit right and that's basically what that is the next thing is what what did we okay so so you, once you have those those courses if you will created those containers then you want to add lessons now lessons are videos or they could be something else too but mainly they're videos so you click on the plus here and you say lesson right you want to create a new lesson and in here uh by default you have just this basic options so oh look at that so um in here you would say well if you have the an upgrade account you'll be able to click on upload video instead which you can then upload a video from your computer otherwise you put in a link to YouTube and the rest is, you can put specify your own right here for the thumbnail or you can enter right here show all options where you can put in the summary and the title but if you're using a YouTube link it'll just pick that stuff up anyways from your YouTube description um, and then after that you just save it so what happens then is that you've added a lesson so what you want to do is you want to organize your summit like we did like I did here right so I have this whoops where did it go oh. so I have this you know this organization here of my summit so you're gonna have to do the same thing you're gonna want to have to get the recording schedule all that, that that's all stuff that happens before or during your preparation of all that right but you want to make sure you get that organized so you know what speakers on which day if you're doing multiple days like I did uh, if you're doing you know all in the same day then obviously the, the this doesn't matter that much but maybe you want to organize them the other thing is you're going to want to create the if I look at these um you can see that the title of these if I look at this that's when I'm creating one I give it a title of day one or day two or day three with a this character right there the what they call a pipe or a, a, a line a vertical line or whatever uh in there that means that lets the platform know that the menu should should this is a section called day one so every single video if I look at the list here if I go back to the list when I look at the list I can see that these are all like this right day one welcome day two so over here is the title 
then the summary the details the footer and in here you say day one day one day one and then day two day two day two day three day three day three day three again day four day four day four right so what that does is by giving it a, a title that has a, a, a beginning word same thing with down the bottom here uh oh I guess it's not in this one if I go to um oh where am I I'm not in the right I'm not in the right tab in the right browser uh over here with cloud ritual summit I was in the wrong uh, tab or wrong, wrong browser window sorry about that okay so if you if we can wait for it to load up here so when we look at the lessons which is the list of them you can see right here like I said day one day one day two day two day two day three day five right then there's a uh, I guess my computer's then you have speakers 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 right so that's so by putting that little bit of word and then this this vertical bar and then it automatically knows how to organize the the menu if I go back to the to the actual page for it you can see that the menu here has day one day two day three day time and speakers that's how that happens so under day one you see there's only these three right under day three there's four of them under speakers they're all here all the speakers are here because they're all under speakers they all start speakers something speaker vertical bar right that lets me sort that that's an, that's one way to organize the menu on the side um and also you can also do things like show lesson number or not and show ads in course or view mode there's different things you can do in the platform lots of other things that we're not going to go into um but if I go back to my list here we said okay so record videos for your speakers okay hosting of the videos so you create the course and add every single one of those videos and by the way you don't need to add the videos you don't need you can create all the lessons in the summit before having the videos and add the videos after right that's not you don't have to create them all then attendees can register for free so how does that work so say you so this is your free summit and you just click on the share this course and this will give you a link that anybody can use to register as you can see right here it says jsg that's my link if somebody else shares the this if they somebody else clicks on this right if I go to where's that incognito one do I still have it there right over here so this incognito one it's not all right so if I go to the to that summit if I go to the actual summit I go under courses here well actually if I click on that link let's just take this link here because that's kind of what somebody would do right I would just do this open in incognito window so that will access that link right there uh, oh it says I already have it so I'm, let me remove myself from here uh, do, 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 do um when if you're not in there so this is what will happen let me just I actually have to go in here and I want to look for these are all the you know, the all the people in here obviously these emails aren't meant to be public but just bear with me here I want to find what is it this is uh cis this is cis 244 okay so 244 I want to make sure I remove this in here where is it it's there it is so I want to remove that all right I can't do that I gotta go back to here there we go cis2 I'm going to remove it there you go okay so I removed it and let's just make this go back to this the width there we go okay so okay now if I go back to here oh let's click let's go back on this link again so if I go here share okay so this I'm I, sorry I should have done that before but basically what I'm trying to show you is whenever somebody clicks on your link that you can send to anybody in your summit or somebody in your summit can send their that link to the person to anybody else or share it on Facebook or anything like that this is what's that this is what the the other person is going to see 
they're going to see this it's going to say add to your library and if I if they uh, then you just say add to your library then it gets added and if now you have it you have it in your library now you can actually watch any of these videos right and you're you're in there now I can uh, now I have it right now I have the summit in my library right um and I can share it I can go share this right over here now see how it says cis 244 instead now so if I share it and somebody registers they're going to be referred by me right referred by the person so that's one of the things I have in here so basically attendees can register for free make available for a specific time okay so now how do I do that so making available videos so this is how I do it here if I close this uh, let's go back to this one here okay so if I close this uh close this okay so if I go back to here what's this what do I have in, oh that's the rate okay <laughs> so if I go down here you can see all the videos are available as well for whenever you're editing you can see them all here and you can click on published make draft so if I take any of these just for the fun of it I'll make one of them a draft well the thing is that when you first create your course and when you first upload the videos they're all drafts they're not available to anybody but you because you're creating it but what you do is on day one right day one welcome day one right these three videos right here I you publish them you just click on the publish button and then all the other ones are drafts right if I do this make draft right here see whoops if I do this make draft right so now they're drafts right so that means that if I make these all drafts which I'm doing for the video here to show if I go back to the other person that's got access see how it says these are all there day one day two day three now if I reload this page now the person that's accessing it that is not the admin doesn't have access to the day one and day two they're all they're not there they don't exist so the idea is you make just the day you want available and then the next day you switch to the next day right you make the previous day a draft make the next day visible right published so I'm just going to go publish these back again because I don't want them to be these these night need to be published 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 publish 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 so day three now these are all published again okay so if I reload this now you see that they're all available now the reason I have them all available for me is because I've made the summit into a because it's past it was May uh, it was last week it's it was actually over today uh and the uh, the way that the way that it works is that you need to have access to um the 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 videos are all like I said shortered and with that trailer on it like I talked about right being able to trim videos in that trailer to it so they're all like that now so now anybody who watches them can get is can see the full video by getting the VIP pass right uh okay so now what else under under we have we I talked about deals and coupons so if I go to the one that's not free the VIP one right you can see right here it says there's a price 197 until so now it's 197 but if I click on manage deals and coupons there is a coupon right here for those who won this this summit by the way there's only 10 of them so whoever uses them up they're used up and you can have coupons like that that you send to people to give them access to your summit for free or for a certain price right you can create a coupon that's you know 47 dollars <coughs> right <coughs> so 47 <coughs> 47 price whatever you want you can give it the name that you want and then it'll create it and now there's this coupon here if I open this up in a incognito window oh right there's a there's a bug here this has to be question mark so that's the price and now it shows you that it's 47 dollars if I want the VIP pass I want to offer that to people for 47 dollars I could do that right uh let's just delete it yes delete okay so because I don't want you watching this video to be able to go and get this at that price right 
so that's how you and the same thing with the deals as you can see right here these deals were until this date until this date until this date it was at 147 97 47 right that's that's the price that it was so you can set up all these previously decided on pricing uh for me I did it during the summit if the price was going up I could have made it go up every single day a different amount right but anyways that's kind of that's kind of what I did and that's how you can use the deals and coupons for your for your summit so what else attendees to comment give coupons deals allow attendees to comment guarantee that referrals get paid <clears throat> allow others to get commissions promote so that's basically all the most of the stuff if you have any questions there's lots of other videos that I did on the platform but if you want specifics on the on running a summit hopefully this kind of explained and if you watch if you look at the blog post I'll be putting more information in there but that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time...